Hello and welcome to this week's Wellness Wednesday video. I'm Pia Fitzgerald, your wellness tactician. I'm here on behalf of Wow Factor in partnership with Columbus City Schools Staff Wellness Initiative. Today we are going to talk about reframe, reframe as we think about the five R's for leveraging the power of thought. We're going to look at the power of reframing. And as it is my custom, as an aspiring comedian, I'm gonna offer you a little chuckle. Here it is. Someone once told me, it's okay to change your mind in light of new facts. I used to think that. You gotta let that marinate. <laughs> you gotta let that marinate. All right, reframe, reframe. So reframing in the context of social awareness, another one of your SEO competencies, is an amazing tool, an amazing tool to become more a socially aware person as we think about uh, the differences that make us all wonderful, this wonderful uh, group of people that we are. Reframing. So what do I mean by that? Reframing is really just that. It's finding a different way to understand a new perspective. So it may not be your perspective, but it doesn't have to cause conflict. You just have to kind of move around. I don't even want to say put some, yourself in someone else's shoes. Just try to figure out, hmm, no judgment behind it. Just consider the matter. The more you can do that, the more you practice that, the more you will neurologically be better off. So I would love to give you a long science lesson today, but I do not have that much time. So let me give it to you on the quick, 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 quick. So here's the deal, when we are stressed out, we are amygdala that's responsible for emotions, it gets hijacked. And when it gets hijacked, then it shuts down our prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for our critical thinking, our planning, our organizing, all the things that we need to do here uh, with Columbus City Schools. And so when someone says something that uh, may be like a little puzzling or a little off-putting, if you reframe it, try to see it a little differently, you actually can begin to soothe your brain, release the amygdala, get it to relax, and get your PC, your prefrontal cortex, back online so that you can move forward with that effective critical thinking. I know, easier said than done. So here's what I'm gonna offer you for this week. I want you to practice satisfying thoughts. Maybe you start with just like journaling the difference between an unsatisfying thought versus a satisfying thought. But practice satisfying thoughts. For example, an unsatisfying thought may be, ooh, it's hot. But the satisfying thought is, man, I'm so glad that I can be here today in my right mind with energy. So me focusing more on the satisfying aspects of my situation it helps me to calm down and my brain can work at a more optimum level. So your homework for this week is to practice satisfying thoughts, reframing any unsatisfying thought so that it becomes satisfaction so that you can be, you can think and operate on an optimum level. Not saying that you can't have bad thoughts, but if it's not working for you, let's go ahead and reframe it. All right. Thank you for your time and thank you for watching and stay tuned for next week's Wellness Wednesday video. Bye-bye.